Hey, what's up, everybody? Mr. Tony Ross. So I've gotten a few messages on my YouTube page asking if um, I could do an in-depth look at my so-called studio. Um, so I'm going to oblige those uh, and I'm going to show you where I work. Um, and actually, it's not a outside studio that I rent. It's not an oddball piece of land somewhere. It's none of the above. Uh, my home studio is at home. Uh, it's literally in the corner of my bedroom. Uh, well, me and my wife's uh, bedroom. So, but uh, yeah, so uh, all my all my beat production is done here in the corner. So I'm going to give you a give you a, a a view of it and maybe talk about how I have everything hooked up. Uh, we actually live in an old farmhouse, so uh, the sound in here is very challenging. Like I said, it's in my main bedroom. There you go. Main bedroom, very large bedroom in an old farmhouse we live in. Uh, so here's, uh, well, here's my space. All right, well, here it is. <laughs> you really can't see much, but as you walk into the bedroom from the walkthrough bathroom, um, I'm right in the corner, like I said. I have a big chest hutch. Yeah. So I'm behind that, hidden in the corner, as you can see the wall. It's a pallet wood wall I built myself. I just needed to put a little character in my corner of the room. And as you walk in, this is what you see. I'm kind of lit up now. I've got some new lamps, some LED lamps. So when I do these videos, it's going to look a lot better. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's really it. I have a single table in front with a tablecloth. It's an old wood table, fold, folding wood table I've had for 15 years. I just put a tablecloth on it. Um, half my DJ rig is in the corner there, just my my mixer and one of my uh, one of my six turntables, and hopefully how it's connected to this whole little bit of a headache I have here. All right. Okay, so like I said, here you go. These are the main machines I work with every day. Uh, what is it? Six in total. Uh, but this is where all the sounds come from. Um, <clears throat> the I guess I'll start at the top of the chain, I guess, and then tell you how everything is hooked from there. Um, I just have this small Behringer, um, I forget what you call it, uh, Zenex, Zenex 802. There you go. Four, four channel mixer. Um, for what I do, it's perfect. It's a perfect size. And then from here, it branches out. But the way I have it hooked up is very odd, and a lot of people won't hook things up that way, but this is the way I do it. So from the mixer, in each channel, it's kind of weird. So channel one here, this honestly isn't hooked up yet. This I cheat, and I hook my cell phone to it. Um, anything that I find on the internet, an odd sound, uh, a YouTube video, commercial, a TV show, and they say something or there's a sound in it, I just hook my phone right into channel one. Um... Yeah, pretty simple. Channel 2 is uh, empty right now. Uh, literally, I use this for a mic channel. Um, channel uh, channel 3, 4, mono and stereo. Um, that I have hooked to my Akai XR21, which is a drum machine. And I'll show you that right now. Right here, this light's really bright. Channel 3, 4 is this. But, yeah, XR21 is on channel 3, 4. Uh, back over to the mixer. Channel 5 and 6 is dedicated to my poor man's SP-1200. The Zoom Sample Track ST-224. I love this machine. So that's what's hooked there. Um, from the main out, from my main out, I'm running to this little guy. So from the mixer, I go into my Korg Chaos uh, Mini Pad. From my Korg Mini <laughs> Chaos Pad, I go into the Roland SP-404. I really don't make songs with this. I've made maybe 10 total since I've owned it for, I don't know, seven, eight years. Um, I basically use this for all the effects. Um, this is very, very useful. So from there, the SP-404, I go into my sound card. Now, my sound card to my laptop is a sound card you guys have probably never seen before. Um, I don't even remember the model of it. And I've looked at it recently, and I still don't see the model. But... That little guy is my sound card. So from the Roland SP-404, the out on that, I go into the in, uh, which is right here, into the sound card, which and that feeds, obviously, everything to my, my Dell 
uh, i5 laptop. And yeah, the out on this is actually going to my monitors. The main monitors I'm using are the uh, uh, these Mackies, these small guys. That's me and my oldest back then. And I don't know, that's like three years ago. So yeah, into my Mackies. I picked these up really cheap uh, from a guitar shop that... Um, and then I have my secondary monitors. These are the Tenoys SBMs something or other. These are the first monitors I ever bought. I bought these back in 1990, 1997. Yeah, it's 2020 now, 1997, but they still knock and they still work. I use these as my final mix monitors to really hear what's coming out. I use these for just when I'm actually creating music. So yeah, from that sound, the out of the sound card goes into these guys. Oops goes into these guys here and then my laptop the main show <laughs> right now i usually i use well i mix i skipped over this guy but usually i use uh, the akai uh mpc software uh lately i've been using this cakewalk program it's pretty cool um it reminds me of cakewalk back in the day but this is good when i want to record all my stuff separate tracks and not have to sample it and then chop it up i could just literally play it, it records it on a track, and I move on. Now, for my Akai, MPC uh, Studio Black. This is my heart, right next to this guy, but he basically runs a show when I'm running the MPC, pro MPC program. When I'm using Cakewalk, I never really use him. He just sits there jealous of these guys. But when I'm running the, uh, the Akai program, He's, this is the mothership right here, uh, sample chop media on this joint. And um, I have a little Seagate hard drive there. That's the music I, I record to the, the um, um, I got an SL Serato box there, which I do not have hooked up. I do have a secondary laptop, but I, I don't have it hooked up right now. Oh, uh, my Kai MPK Mini. Uh, this is my mini controller, so whenever I'm using a VST, this guy, I just have it shoved in the corner, but I usually bring him out. Put them right in front of me and I go in. Over here, sorry for the quick camera movement. Uh, my main mixer of choice, I use Serato, but I map this tractor mixer to Serato, which it is mapped. So as soon as I hook up the uh, SL box and I turn on Serato and I just turn on my MIDI mapping, boom, these all these lights come alive. And this is the uh, Control Z2. This thing is awesome. Actually, this is the mixer that DJ Qbert uses, uh, but he does run tractor. I still run Serato Scratch Live. Yeah. I'm still back in the day because the program's great and I don't, there's no reason for me to change it. Um, this is one of my six turntables. I have two I have two of these, these Newmark TTXs. These are the uh, ones that they came out with with the extremely, extremely strong motor and the cool LED uh, display. And it actually has a beat counter uh, on it. So that's a big help for me. Um, I don't have to figure out a BPM or have to tap it out on one of these machines. I get the uh, BPM on my new Mark TTX if it picks it up. Usually it does. So, I mean, that's really it for what I do. It's perfect. It's the Ibanez uh, G, G10 or GIO. I forget what it is. GO? Yeah, I think it's. Uh, then additionally, I do have two guitars. They are, they are wrapped up right now. I have an Epiphone and then I have a, uh, a uh, Stratocaster, um, a Squire. It's a, it's a Squire Stratocaster. But, and then underneath, well, it's going to be. Underneath, I have this little American DJ uh, uh, power controller. Um, and then to power my monitors up top, the Tenoys, I have the uh, uh, Alesis RA100 right here. This this guy I've had since 1997. So, yeah. So, there you go. There's a studio set up in my home. And uh, that's it. <laughs> I mean, I have 95% uh, of my vinyl collection is at my other house and uh thanks for watching i am mr tony raw raw cut music and uh stay tuned because i have a lot a lot a lot a lot of cool videos coming um and look out for sample sundays that'll be a new show i'll be doing you guys send me the sample i chop it up make a brand new beat out of it should be a good time all right that's about it please take a moment it takes two seconds hit that little thumbs up like this video and of course subscribe to my channel my goal is to get to a thousand subscribers in the next at least six months. All right, so get me up there. Need a thousand subscribers because I want to. I'm going to grow this channel to ten thousand. Ten thousand subscribers. That's my goal. You know what I mean? So thanks. Thanks for watching, Mr. Tony Raw Raw Cut Music. I'm out.